All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today, what I got in store is me opening up and checking out another really old, awesome product from Magic the Gathering from back in the day. Today, what I got my hands on is the Magic the Gathering Multiverse Gift Box. Very cool, pretty hard to find, kind of a bit expensive nowadays, and just awesome old Magic the Gathering products that maybe not a lot of you know about, or maybe not a lot of you have seen or seen being opened before. So I got my hands on one of these. Um, yeah, really cool. I opened up in a previous uploaded video um, the Vanguard gift box, which is another sort of similar gift box in this sort of era. These sort of long style gift boxes with interesting old packs. This one as well has some foreign packs as well. We'll be checking out what's in here in just a couple minutes as well. Anyways, I really love to open up and check out these older products with you all. Really document them, show you what's inside, give you the experience, and just maybe share something new with you, show you some cool art, and just really enjoy the history of Magic the Gathering. So I hope you all enjoy these type of videos. Please let me know if you do. And yeah, just enjoy this with me as we check this out. Today, I got the Magic the Gathering Multiverse Gift Box. Let's just check out some of the art and stuff. Looks like you got some sort of cheetah on it right there. King Cheetah by Therese Nielsen. Yeah, Visions, you got bonus. Store your magic cards in this case, so it's like a storage case as well. Back in the day, this cost $19.95 US dollars. Um, yeah, they're a bit more expensive now. I'm sure if I wanted to, I could probably not open this up and save it and keep it for an investment or something like that but what is the fun in that absolutely none and it says this contains two visions preview boosters i think these are different than regular visions booster packs i did a little bit of research i don't remember what it is but there's like a smaller pool of vision cards that the packs can contain in there so i don't think you can get any of the tutors or anything like that but still really cool to awesome and check it out with you all and this is an interesting product because the visions booster packs that came in here were actually uh, a preview so they actually came in this box before visions was even released so it was like a preview or a pre like set of visions before the set was even uh, available for purchase other than these gift boxes so very cool also includes a bunch of international uh boosters which we'll check out as well very similar to the vanguard one where it had some like korean and uh japanese uh and weather late i believe what do we got here just some art right here uh, looks like a German card uh, from Re Renaissance. You got a Renaissance booster back in here. Very cool. Uh, Varen Senger by Pete Ventures. Very cool. What is this? Uh, Peace Talks. I like this art as well. I like the angle of it. The Multiverse Gift Box. Uh, Wizards logo down in there. Here's something sliding around. Check on the sides. Not too much going on there. Okay, some more art going on here. Very cool. Richard Kane Ferguson. Love their art. Fantastic. And uh, I'm not sure what that says. Sketchigo di Robert Richard di Kane Fergus. I think maybe Italian or something like that. I'm not sure what this is, but very fun art. This old man with crazy beard literally turned his buddy into a goat. And then you got Fallen Angel right here, which I believe Japanese text. I'm not really sure. Very cool. I really like how they bring together different languages in this package, different cultures. Just letting you know that Magic the Gathering is a global product, and I absolutely love that. Let's see what this is. Interesting. There's like a sticker on top of here. Uh, Visions cards are stored, uh, cards in storage case made in USA, international cards made in Belgium. Okay. Okay, this product contains the following boosters. Two Visions, the preview pack, so they're a little bit different than regular Visions booster packs, 15 cards each. One Italian Alliances, very cool. Hopefully we get like a Force of Will or something. One Japanese Chronicles, alrighty. Uh, one German Renaissance, and one French Homelands. Very cool. The most exciting pack, uh, I'm excited to see the Visions and the Alliances. I have opened up... Uh, Homelands, Renaissance, and Chronicles on this channel, but I don't believe I have in other languages. So that'll be fun to check out with you all. Uh, published by Wizards of the Coast. When did this come out? This came out in 1996, just a couple years after the game was created. Watch for the remaining Vision cards in early 1997. So yeah, like I said, the Visions booster packs in here was like a preview set. Uh, it wasn't. Act they were given out before Visions was actually released, which is pretty cool. This reinforced laminated display box uh, con uh, converts into a handy storage case for your favorite cards, holding approximately 840 cards in standard size sleeves or uh, 1260 card starter decks. Very cool. So it kind of lets you know you can put a whole bunch of cards in here or 12 decks. Very cool storage box. We'll check it out. I'm sure there's some other art as well. Meet Visions. Now before it meets you on the table, the Multiverse Gift Box introduced preview cards and Visions, the limited edition expansion to Mirage. Have fun challenging your opponents with new Vision cards as well as favorite cards from the international products like Italian Alliances, Japanese Chronicles, German Renaissance, uh, French Homelands. At the end of the day, when the dueling is over, store all your uh, winnings cards in the sturdy storage case. 
Yeah, interesting. Uh, store all of your winning cards in the storage, sturdy storage case. Because back in the day, there was actually play for ante, which is pretty much like gambling for your cards. You each wager a card, and whoever wins would get that ante or get that card. But they they got rid of that. That's no longer a thing. So there are some cards back in the day that can say uh, ante, like pearled. Um, can't think of it. There's like a bird card that you can swap for your ante. I think like pearled. Uh, Ah, can't think of it. Anyways, I got oh, what else we got here? The visions, got the the homelands, chronicles, renaissance, alliances. Very cool. And visions, be cool. Let's get myself an Italian force of will. All right, let's just take off the cellophane and have some fun with it. Very cool to open these up. So much fun to share this with you all. Oh wow, this like cellophane is like really. Oh, I thought it was getting glued on there. the early history of Magic the Gathering. I absolutely love opening up and checking out these products with you all. Again, the sleeve just kind of slides off. And wow, look at this box. This is nice. A little bit different. Uh, it only goes about halfway down. The other uh, Vanguard box closed fully. Very cool. Like the matte sort of finish. The other one was a much more glossy. Oh wow, there's a little bit of like glue or something on there. That's uh, strange. Something to do maybe with... Uh, I don't know. A little bit of glue or some muck on there that can probably come off. Again, you got the cheetah art right there. Very cool. Uh, King Cheetah by Teresa Nielsen. Visions, Wizard of the Coast. Oh, another thing about the Visions cards from the booster packs. I believe there could be a little bit different art on some of them or different cropped. Uh, Magic, the Gathering. You got the white, blue, black, red, and green mana symbols right there. Really like the finish to everything. Uh, again, all the cards. Baron Singer, Peace Talks. The... Uh, Sort of goat guy, Richard Kane Ferguson, cool art, Fallen Angels, again the mana symbols, very cool there. On the bottom, some sort of psychedelic little pattern going on, and on the back of it, what do we got? Same art, same art for both sides. And on the side, just says Magic the Gathering, Magic the Gathering. Let's just flip this open and see what's inside. Very, <laughs> you think that it's such a big box, it would come with bigger, better stuff inside, but this is literally it. Just a couple packs couple load packs right there very cool alliances got the visions the two visions the only english ones in here are these visions ones right here the thin renaissance pack the homelands beautiful alliances interesting that this contained 12 cards i wonder if the original alliances had 12 cards or not i've never opened up any and uh, what else we got secret broken plastic i thought it was something it broke off there yeah and then you can store a whole bunch of cards in here as well very cool so honestly uh, interesting old product, very interesting. Let's just have some fun and check it out. Let's open up one of the Visions booster packs and see. Again, these are like sampler booster packs. Uh, there is a, it's not the full Vision set, what you can get. What is it? Does it say anything? Pledged by Wizard of the Coast, 1996. How do you know it's a sampler one right here? It says, uh, you hold in your hands a special look ahead into the world of Dominaria, the tranquil world of Mirage has been shattered by amb ambition and war, and peace can only return to the wars if uh, Gerara uncovered the uh, uh, what does that say? Portents behind uh, hidden within their dreams. You two can witness the future. It's special limited edition preview booster. All right, a preview booster of visions. Let's see what we can get. Again, all these booster packs are way before foils were like even a thing. There we go. Cool looking art. Three and three black. Necro Servant to 5 5. The vision symbol right down there. Beautiful art by John Colehart. Uh, summon Necro Savant, I believe. 3 and 2 black. Sacrifice a creature. Put a Necro Savant token into play. Use this only during your upkeep and only if Necro Servant is in your graveyard. So I think you can put a token of itself into play uh, if you sacrifice another creature. Crazy looking twisted arms. He's just like passed out, dead, zombified. His nose got chopped off. Crazy looking art. Tempest Drake. Love the beautiful gold multi-border cards. One a blue and a, one a white and a blue. Uh, flying. And it has Vigilance. Uh, attacking does not cost Tempest Drake to tap. This is before Vigilance was a keyword. 2-2. Uh, Gary Grace. Beautiful art. Love the purple background. Love the blue wings. Fantastic looking Vortex. Fantastic. Uh, Vashino Sandstalker. The Sandstalkers. One and two red. Uh, very interesting orange background. Looks like this crazy lizard guy. Literally chopped him in half. 4-2. Uh, it's unaffected by summon sickness, has haste, the end of turn, return uh, to its owner's hand. So you kind of flash it out into the battlefield, you can attack with it, it can deal 4 damage, and it has bounce back to your hand. Andrew Robinson drew it. Uh, interesting card, interesting card, kind of keeps bouncing back and forth. 
Peace Talks actually got one of the art uh, from the box right there. Very cool. I really like this art. I like the top-down view. They all have their swords down. They all come to talk peace. But also, it looks like this guy doesn't want to talk peace because he's standing on top of it. He still has his sword. And he means anger. I don't know. One in a white. Uh, Roger Raup drew it during this turn. And the next one, players cannot declare an attack and cannot play spells or abilities that target any permits or player. Very cool card. It's like a very interesting card. It's like some sort of fog, but different kind of fog. It just prevents and makes peace talks. Really like it. It'd be fun to make a deck or something like that. The peaceful deck. Giant Caterpillar. I uh, always like this art. Uh, yellow and purple Caterpillar. Bigger than the, uh, the sort of uh, animals in the background. Three and a green. Huge Caterpillar. It's a 3-3 three, three by Zion Saunders. Funny looking art. Crazy. Uh, green Sacrifice it. Put a 1-1. One, one. A butterfly token into play. At the end of turn, treat this as a 1-1 green creature with flying. So, you can keep it as a 3-3, or you can turn it into a flyer. Very cool. It'd be cool if you could, like, pay another 3 in the green, and it can make it, like, a 4-4 four, four flyer, evolving a little bit bigger or something. That'd be cool, because you think you'd make a giant butterfly. Huh? Very cool. Oh, nice guy. King Cheetah. Got the box art itself, absolutely fantastic. Like the art by Therese Nielsen, so 3-2. You may choose to play King Cheetah whenever you can play an instant, so it has flash. Very cool, three and a green. Interesting to think these older cards, they have, uh, this is before keywords were kind of invented, like flash wasn't a thing. I think the only keywords they had back then maybe were like swamp walk or something like that, or like some sort of walks, land walks. Okay, very cool, looking art, absolutely love it. He's moving so fast. I kind of like the gridding on the background as well. Fantastic. Got Ricked Reward. Absolutely creepy. He's got a bloody sword. Not sure what's in his tongue. He's literally sticking out his tongue at them. Saying, I got you. One in a white. Instant. Sacrifice a creature. Target creature gets plus four, plus two until end of turn. By D. Alexander Gregory. Alrighty. Got a new. A return two target creatures to their owner's hands. By Therese Nielsen. One and two blue. Fantastic. Like the vision symbol right down there. Very ghostly looking apparition. Two of the people are just poofing back to their hands. Fantastic. Ooh, this is a cool looking art. Two red. Uh, two white. My bad. Uh, Gossamer chains. Yeah. Looks like this blue sort of web is just wrapping all around this warrior. Preventing them from attacking it looks like. Enchantment. Return it to its owner's hand. Target unblocked creature. Deals no combat damage this turn. Okay, that's cool. So you return it to its hand. You can just like kind of bounce it back and forth from your battlefield to your hand and make a creature just deal no damage. Very cool. Hm, I like it. By Steve Luke. Got Feral Instinct. Looking uh, like they're in the savannah, the plains or something like that. A rhino stampeding at you. One in the green. Instant target creature gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. Draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Very cool. A little bit more extra card draw as well. Or a fricker. I remember back in the day, there was a lot of cards that say, draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Yep. Got a Talium Champion. This is the guy from one of the Vanguard cards from the Vanguard box. Four and a uh, red. It's a 3-3 three, three by Pete Ventures. Got First Strike. Uh, when it blocks or blocked by any creature, that creature loses first strike until end of turn. Okay, very cool. So, makes first strike useless. Crazy looking scythe in his hand or something. Interesting art. Pete Ventures. Got Dark Privilege. Just set these here. One in a black. Very crazy looking art by Tom Kiffin. He's got a cup of wine. He's got a nasty looking uh, creature of the Black Lagoon look on his face with snakes in his hair. Very creepy, fantastic. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one. Sacrifice a creature, regenerate the enchanted creature so he can drink the blood of another creature to save himself. Crazy. Knight of the Mist. Very cool art by Harold McNeil. Just very simplistic, sort of foggy looking art. Literally, he is the fog. Two and a blue. It's got flanking. And uh, when it comes to play, pay blue or bury it. It's a two, two with flanking. And you get pretty much you gotta pay um, four mana. Weird that you have to pay blue. Oberry Target Knight. Okay. Okay. Weird. And then the Warriors Honor. Two and a white. All creatures you control get plus one, plus one to end of turn. Seen this art many times. Got some crescent moons in the background. She's holding up some sort of scythe and green robed men in the background by D. Alexander Gregory. And the last one I got from the first pack is Bull Elephant. Three and a green. Crazy elephant rampaging through the forest. Just dust and debris everywhere. He's angry. By Steve White. It's a 4-4. Four, four. When it comes into play, return to force you control to its owner's hand or bury bull elephant. 
Four mana for a 4-4 four, four that you have to return to force your hand, that's not very good. But the arc goes with it. When he comes into the battlefield, he literally destroys the force, so you gotta take him away. Huh. Crazy. Alright, very cool. That was a nice little Visions preview pack. I'll set this to the side. Let's just open up this one right here. This. Oh, wait. There was another pack here. There. Chronicles was stuck to it. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. These ones are absurdly thin. Let's just open up this... Uh, Eight cartas. What what language is this one? This one is French homelands. Here we go. French homeland. Let's get ourselves a Baron Sender. Here we go. Or a didgeridoo or something. Oh, uh, Autumn Willow. I think this was the rare. I'm not sure. I think it is four and two green. You pay green. Oh, it can't be targeted by spells or abilities. You pay green, it can be. It's a 4-4. Margaret Ogren Keith drew this one. Fantastic art. Bear with me as I try to say the names. Uh, Salul Il Otomen. Yep. Oh, this one's Sarah Avery. This is good. Gives all creatures flying. Three and a white uh, gives all creatures... Oh, gives all creatures with flying plus one, plus one. Vol. Voler. By Nicola Leonard. Beautiful, like, uh, toucan just hanging out there. Beautiful bird sanctuary. Fantastic. It's funny, I know some of the cards. On uh, I think it's like On Haven Townsfolk. One green, it's a 1-1 one, one creature. Uh, I'm not sure, but you can pump it up a bit. They're dancing around their village. Chickens in the background, fantastic. By Julie Broad. And these are very small packs. I think there's only like 8 cards. Uh, Sort de Disenchantment. I think this is like Dry Spell or something like that. One in a black. Uh, da -da, Brian Snowdy. It's a uh, Rutel. Le sorta de disumente inflict one point de degatas a chica creature a chica jore. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, cool art though. He's got a very gilded helmet and his skull is there. He's missing his big tooth and he perished in the desert. You got Joven's ferrets. I know this because it's probably the only card that's a ferret type. A creature ferrets. One green. Uh, ferrets de Joven. So 1-1 one, one by Amy Weber. Just fun art. I only know this because... Magic the Gathering has ferrets. And you got a little bullfrog hanging out in the background. Just playing around the ferrets. Interesting little ring. And a little salamander right there. Cool. And then you got an Anaba Shaman. Something like that. A three and a red. Uh, it's a creature minotaur. You pay red and tap. Deals one damage to every creature player. It's a two two that you can pretty much ping like Prodigal Sorcerer. By Anson Maddox. Creepy looking demonic art. Um, something memory. Puzzle of memory. Tor de memory. One and a blue. Uh, interruption, interrupt, cool looking art, I really like it, it's like pieces of the puzzle, pieces of the brain, the thoughts are missing, she's trying to piece it together, but they're floating through space, fantastic art by Mark Tenden, uh, Contra the Spell, not quite sure, oh, <laughs> uh, Cemetery Gate, I believe it's a wall, protection from white, I believe it is, Noir, not really sure. Zero five. I don't know much French at all. Two and a black, but a cemetery gate, I believe. Grilla de Cemetery. Very crazy looking art. Protection from white, I think. Creature Mur Wall. Alyssa Benson. Very cool. All right, let's open up. Uh, let's open up the Renaissance pack. This is German's eight speckle carton. I don't know much of German at all either. So just bear with me. I really hope you enjoy these type of videos. I have so much fun just opening up and checking out these really old things with you all. I've opened up a pack of Renaissance on this channel before. Interesting set, by the way. There was none of these were released in English. It's only like an international product, Renaissance. Very cool. Oh, did you look at that? Um, black border as well. One and two black. Uh, some sort of ifrit. I think uh, you gotta pay two for it to move. upkeep. It's a three-three. These cards are a little bit warped feeling. Crazy looking art. He's got a fire fist and he means business. Christopher Rush, uh, Junin Ifrit. <laughs> oh look, is this land tax? That's cool. Um, I didn't know this was could be in there. I think I got land tax. One white. I don't remember exactly what it does, but I think if you have less lands on the battlefield or something, you have to you can get more lands. My brown snowy, creepy looking uh, orange mustache guy, lots of rings on his hands, got a big bag of gold. Brian Snowy, very cool. I think this is land tax. I'm not really sure what can be involved in these Renaissance packs, but it looks like a uh, Arabian Nights and then a Legends reprint. Another Arabian Nights got Sandstorm. One green deals one damage. Uh, yeah, Sandstorm. A 
Sponto Zyruber by Brian Snowdy. The sand is just sanding him down to nothing. I think it destroys something. An artifact creature, maybe. I <laughs> uh, got Sunken Sea. Two blue. All blue creatures get plus one, plus one. You got to pay two during your upkeep or destroy it. Just for me, for his, uh, enchantment. Uh, Vazer Brung. Uh, Versunken Stranded. Yes, just for me, for us. From the Dark reprint. Very cool. Got Erosion. Three blue. Vistaru land, enchant land, erosion. I don't really remember what it does. Got the cool spine right there. Pete Venture is very cool. Uh, looks like an anthologies. Strummeram. Two generic is a 1 1 artifact. Artifact creature. Artifact creature. Hot Boonstrafine. No, I'm not sure. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Jeff A. Mangus. Huge battering ram trying to break through the castle. And you can see they're throwing the volley of arrows at them. They should wear some plates above them. And then I got Carnivorous Plant. Three and a green. It's a 4-5 Quentin Hoover. Just crazy. Brester Warnum and Maurer. Not sure. But cool Carnivorous Plant like a Venus Flytrap. Except huge. Got blood on his mouth. And you can see his big friend up there. And then what is this? You got Lonely Spirit or Lost Spirit. Uh, Volerine Seal. One and two black. It's got Swamp Walk. Supenfanting. Fling, not sure. 2 1 by Randy Asphalt of Faith. Uh, yes. Like a lost soul or something. I think lost soul. This maiden is covered with her thin white robe hanging out in the middle of the swamps. She's just very lost. Beautiful art. Very cool. Cool to see that. I think I got Land Tax, which is pretty cool. That's a pretty good card. Uh, let's go ahead and open up uh, some of Chronicles. Maybe we'll get myself a Nickel Bullis or a Corrupted Crossroads or something. Oh wow, I forgot Chronicles is black border for foreign. This is a Japanese Chronicles, I believe. Let me just double check. Japanese Chronicles. It's a black border Chronicles. Let's get ourselves a black border nickel bolus. Um now I don't even know how to pronounce any of these characters. Daniel Gleon's a four four, some sort of Angel. Three, two white and two green. Not really sure. Fantastic. You got the Fallen. One in three black. Crazy looking art. I only know this because I remember the art. Creepy little tiny pinhole eyes. Nasty teeth. It's a 2-3 Jesper Mirror Force. Crazy. Crazy nasty art. Whoa. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, this is probably like rabies. <laughs> two and two green. I'm calling it rabies. It's a 0-1 creature. Four mana for a 0-1. What does it do? A Legends reprint right there. By Kaha Fogelo. Crazy looking art. It's poor woodchuck or beaver. Maybe it's having wood or it's foaming from the mouth with rabies. Uh, Mons Goblin Raiders or Goblin Digging Team. No, I think this is Goblin Digging Team. One red for 1-1. One, one, you tap, uh, destroy it, destroy target wall. I think that's what it is. Ron Spencer drew that one. Cool looking art. Interesting to see different languages on the cards. Got Remove Soul, a Legends card. One in a blue. Uh, counter target creature spell. I believe that's what it is by Brian Snowdy. Literally, his body is being evicted from him. Uh, Goblins of the Flark. I think uh, one red for a 1-1 one, one by Tom Wanderstant. Very simplistic background right there. Cool. Um, uh, some sort of blacksmith, repented blacksmith or something. One in a white, so one two creature. And he's making his sword or something. A Drew Tucker. Very cool watercolor picture. Love it. Uh, Fountain of Youth, I believe. You pay two tap, gain a life. Zero cost artifact by Daniel Gleon. Beautiful sort of waterfall. The three lion's heads, probably fourth on the back, just spewing out the water of abundance. Fantastic. Oh, nice. Got myself a Urza's, uh, one of the Urza's mine, I believe. I, I believe it's the mine because it's going underground. The pulley's pulling it up. Ants and Maddox from Anthologies. Wonderful. Cool foreign. Urza's mine. A uh, fish liver oil, one in a blue. A bottle of fish liver oil. It's good for your heart. The poor fish, they juiced them. <laughs> By Anson Maddox. Uh, wall of Heat, I believe. Two and a red. It's a 2-6 wall. It's got a little bit of power to it, which is cool. Richard Thomas. Interesting sort of layered reds and yellows in the background and oranges. Fantastic. Got myself a spiritual sanctrium or something like that. One and two white. The Legends card. It's a 2-3. By Daniel uh, Kelton. Holding the altar or something like that. Crazy hooded people. Creepy. Very cool. I think, uh, I don't know what the rare card is. It's cool I got that. Those are pretty cool. These packs are turning out really cool. I like these ones right here. Creepy looking art. This might be the rare. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even sure what this card is. 
Super cool to check it out. And I got myself a foreign. Urza's mine, I believe. Fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and open up the random Visions booster pack again. And then I'm going to save the alliances. The Italian alliances last for hopefully getting that Force of Will. That would be so cool. Very cool stuff right here. Oh, nice. Undiscovered Paradise. Awesome. Great card. Great card as well. I wonder if the art's different than the regular one. I love this. Got the red, the white, the green, the blue, and then the... Uh, just pretty much like all the lands right there. It's a land. It can add one mana of any color to your mana pool, but then it has to bounce back to your hand. It says at the beginning of your next untap phase, uh, return a Discover Paradise to its owner's hands. This is a great card for a landfall deck because you play it, it comes back to your hand, and you can keep playing it because it guarantees a land drop every turn because it bounces back to your hand. David O'Connor, and it produces mana of any color as well. Very cool. Great for landfall or something like that. For like Bloodgast or something. Great card. Cool, cool to see that. Probably one of the best cards you can get from the uh, Visions preview sets, I'm kind of guessing. Vampirism, I always remember this card. These creepy, very pale vampires hanging out in the cave, completely naked. One in a black, and chat creature. Uh, draw a card at the beginning and upkeep. Turn after Vampirism comes into play. Chat creature gets plus one, plus one for each other creature control. All other creatures you control get negative one, negative one. Okay, by Gary Leach. Creepy looking art. Got the art from uh, the box itself again. Very cool to get the box art of the old man and the goat. What does he do? Omnomancer. Omnomancer. Two and a blue. So zero one by Kev Walker. Literally turning his buddy into some sort of goat with a snap of a finger. When it comes into play, return three basic lands you control to owner's hand or bury it. That's a steep cost. Tap. Uh, return Automancer to his hands. Bury target creature and put a sheep token into play under the control of target creature's controller. Treat this as a zero one green creature. That's crazy. It's a whole lot of things to uh, kill one of their creatures. But it's a blue card that can kill a creature, but you have to play it. You have to return three basic lands you control to your owner's hand. And then when you use its ability, you have to return this guy to your owner's hands, but then you bury their creature and put a 0-1 green creature token on the battlefield. So you lose three lands, you lose this guy, they lose a creature, and then if you play him again, you have to lose three more lands. Very crazy looking juggling bounce right there. Very bizarre. I uh, got myself Goblin Recruiters. This is a good card. One in a red is a 1-1. One, one. When it comes into play, search your library for any number of Goblin cards. Reveal those cards to all players. Shuffle your library. Put those cards on top of your library in any order. Great for tutoring up any Goblins. A 2-drop for just pretty much getting whatever Goblin you want. Krenko, moth, Mob Boss, or whatever Goblin you want. You got it. Next, Scott Krishkun, Krishner. Very cool. Cool art as well. Wow, I'm really liking these preview packs. Got the chains again. Cool looking art. The Feral Instinct, the Rhino Charging. Got the Champion again. Very cool. First Striker. Got Dark Privileges again. Okay, a lot of these are turning to the same. Uh, Knight of Mists. Warrior's Honor. Yep, yep. Bull Elephant. Okay. Rock Slide. It looks like they were kind of almost in the same order. Uh, just to see if they were in the same order, it went... This was it. Okay, I'm going to set this out here. And let's see. Yeah, pretty much the same order. Yeah, you see that? You got Bull Elephant, uh, the Warriors Honor, Knight of Mist, Dark Privilege, Feral Instinct, blah, blah, Bull Element, Warriors. You can see pretty much the same order, so it looks like it was taken from the same sort of sheet. But it's cool that I got Undiscovered Paradise in the beginning, and these ones are probably going to be different. Got Rock Slide, very cool art by Mike Kier, X in a red. Rock Slide deals X damage via any way you choose any among any number of target attacking, blocking creatures without flying. Okay, crazy. Crazy looking art as well. Look at the sky. Fantastic. Got a Urborg Mind Sucker. Creepy looking art. It's like sleep paralysis or something like that. She's just trying to dream, but this crazy alien thing. Look at that mouth. Nasty. It's coming up and whispering nasty things in her ear when she's sleeping. Two and a black. So two, two. Uh, black. Sacrifice hit. Target opponent discards a card at random. Play this ability as a sorcery. So you can make them discard a card at random. Okay. By Tony... Uh, D. Trizzly. Crazy looking art. Oh, here we go. Cool. Cool art right here. Shrieking Drake. I love the art on this. I really love it. One blue. Crazy looking wings. He's got a mound of skulls. He's telling him to leave. Otherwise, he'll become a skull as well. It's flying. It's a 1-1. One, one. When it comes into play, return a creature control to its owner's hand. It'd be cool if it had flash so he could somehow bounce another creature back. But very cool by Ian Millers. It's a 1-1 one, one for one blue that has flying, but you got to return a creature to your hand. Then we got a beautiful... Uh, Jamaran Lion. Two and a white summon lion to 3 1. 
And you pay a white to tap. Target creature cannot block this turn. That's cool. Uh, Stuart Griffin, you can pretty much make a creature uh, not be able to block. Beautiful line. Makes you think of Lion King. Uh, fantastic art. Makes you think of Lion King for sure. All right, very cool. Got myself a beautiful Undiscovered Paradise. Let's set these here. So far, these packs are awesome. And now we're on to the cool Alliance pack. I've never opened up an Alliance pack. I don't think. I really don't think I have. So let's just have some fun with it. When did this come out? I didn't really read the back of the other packs. Oh, that's okay, though. 1996. All righty. Early history of Magic the Gathering. Let's see what we get in Italian alliances. Enforce Will is an uncommon. Uh, Militis Torreira de Kjeldor. Three and a white. T -t -t one six. Uh, soldier. Cool looking art, though, by Andy Rusa. Yep. Got uh, bureaucrats or something like that. Two and a white. It's a one three three. Eliminated. Kiryoka. I'm not really sure. Evoca strategist. He's a strategist. Very cool. The alliance flag symbol right down there. He's just there with his tools and everything. Uh, I can't remember this one, but this one is. It can create a 2 2 black zombie. Three and a black. Pete Ventures. Creepy looking skeleton hands. And she's got a knife there. Nasty. Nasty, nasty. Instantaneo. Uh, Spellisi una creatura. Uh, Brasalio. Uh, you can kill a creature that's not an artifact or not a black creature, or you can create a 2 2 zombie. Cool. Um, uh, Stozoni di Cambio de Balduvia. Something in the mountain. They got a bunch of treasure on their heads. Beautiful art by Tom Wanderson. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, da, da, you pay one in a red. Uh, you tap, deals one damage to a creature attacking or something. Very cool. Uh, Forza Febrile. Two and a uh, black. Mm, give a creature plus two plus zero until end of turn. Mm, Pesca. The color. Una creature uh, is false. I'm not quite sure. Brian Snowdy. Holding up a big rock. So just bear with me. This is, yes. A razor leaf, I believe. Two and a green. So one for L.A. Williams Druid. Just a creepy looking uh, green leaf with some splatter around it. Uh, Evacuo Mora, tap, tap a la creature, uh, something with flying, you stop a creature with flying, yeah, not really sure. Ixro de Solvede, two and a blue, so two, two, you pay white tap, deals two damage uh, to a creature, uh, and then you draw a card or discard a card possibly. Hmm. Apollo Adepto de Soldevi. One and a black. It's a one-two. Christopher Rush. He's lost an eye. He's got like a weird kind of eyeball in there. Creepy looking art. Tap. Sacrifice a creature. Uh, mm, not quite sure. Crazy looking art. A dono del Boshi. Something of the wolf. One green. Uh, Se la creature encanta. Bloca uvina. Blocada de... Uh, Qualinque creature, la creature encanta, pente, plus zero, plus three, fino of the turn. Something to do with uh, blocking creature gets plus zero, plus three until end of turn. Susan Van Camp, interesting looking art, just people dancing in the background, you no know, wolf's head right there. All right. Um, Arcane and Spell, Richard Kane Ferguson drew this one. Cool art, fantastic. Fighting these sort of spiritual demons or something, one in a blue. Very cool. Um, what is this? Uh, Sacramento del Tempestity. One and a red. Zero four by Carol. Uh, Carol Hayer. It's some sort of shaman. Mountain shaman. She's got a crystal in her hand. She's making lightning and other beautiful mountains in the background. You can pump it up with red. And then the last card I got is Ogarillo de Keldorian. One and a white. An instant creatura. Kaja Fohilo. Drew it. Beautiful little, even in the background, some sort of eagle. Very cool. The regal of this person right there. They are of high status or something. Very cool. All right, that's pretty much all the packs that we had in here. Very cool. Italian alliances, uh, German renaissance, two of the vision preview packs. Very cool to check that out. A um, 
what is this? French Homeland and a Japanese Chronicles. How cool is that? I think I got myself a land tax. I got myself an Undiscovered Paradise. I'm not sure what the rare card in this one is. I'm guessing... It, I'm really not sure what the rare card in that one is. I'm guessing the rare card is this one. Very cool. Got some sort of Japanese versus mine, I believe. Bull Elephant. Very cool to check this stuff out. What an interesting old product to open up and share with you all. Such a cool thing. Um, yeah, such a cool thing. It'd be cool if they made a product like that nowadays with some interesting foreign packs or something. I'm not really sure why they did it back in the day. Maybe they had an excess of packs. Not really sure. But anyways, just really cool to open up this stuff and check it out with you all. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you truly enjoy these things. I love Magic the Gathering. I love the game. It's pretty much one of my favorite games in the world. And I love sharing and documenting these older products with you all. Let me know what you think, and I just want to say thanks for stopping by, keep on keeping on, and have a beautiful, wonderful day.